Hi guys, uh, so today we're going to be doing an unboxing setup and first use of Logitech's Brio 4K Pro webcam. Um, our previous one is not up to the job anymore so uh, we wanted to do an upgrade. Um, so this is our chosen one. Uh, hope you find it useful. Okay, so let's see, have a look at the packaging. Fairly robust box to start with. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see what's involved. Okay, so the first instruction that we've got on the lid here um, to download the camera setting software for this product, please go to logitech.com support slash brio fairly straightforward okay so inside we've got uh, the camera itself um, connector on the back uh, this is uh, all metal which is which is has got a real premium feel to it camera lens here and uh, I presume that's an LED and a focus light um, and what I presume is a microphone so that's the actual camera and then further inside the box here we have I presume is the cables okay so that's a wow now that is a impressive premium cable so let's get that opened up USB 3 uh, as you can see here with the blue and that looks like a USB-C connector for the back of the webcam. This would be for the locking mechanism to support it over a monitor. And in here, we've got a Logitech premium case with a separator in the middle. So you put the camera in one side, the cables in the other side. And then the paperwork showing you uh, how to connect it. Ah, okay, so this is cool. So you can take off the bottom stand um, here and connect it onto um, onto a stand if you want to stick it on your uh, desk or anywhere else. So first impressions are good. Let's put that back in there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'll um, I'll take a a screen capture on the current uh, HD720 Logitech camera uh, and then we'll do a comparison against the 4K camera that we've got here which is the Brio. So this is the test with the Logitech HD720 camera so the resolutions are not as great with this. Uh, I'm not going to do a huge amount of uh, recording what I want to do is get the new one set up and then we'll uh, we can do a, a sort of comparison between the two. So that's Windows just installed the driver. We now want to go to logitech.com slash slash Rio. So let's have a look here. First thing that we want to do is to make sure that we've got the right firmware. So we've got 1.0.379, target is 2.0.17. 
target version is newer than current. Update is recommended. <clears throat> so let's update the device. Okay, we've got nothing running. Okay, just uh, <clears throat> Fantastic, so that's it updated. Next thing that we want to do is to download the capture software, get that installed. Now it's quite good this uh, little camera because it comes with a uh, security cover so you can pop the security cover over the front of your webcam if you're worried about uh, if you've got any privacy concerns so that will ensure that um, even if the camera does come on it can't capture uh, anything. So we'll install that. Um, I'm not going to share any analytics data. Okay, so it's got the previous version of uh, capture software from my previous webcam, so we'll get rid of that first of all. Okay, so uh, we've just rebooted. I'm now going to see if I can find the software. <clears throat> Let's run it up, see what happens. <clears throat> so we've got a light on the webcam. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's have a look. So frame rate. Anti-flicker. Autofocus. Good. So you can see in the, uh, the background, um, it's much clearer. So that's quite good. Quite pleased with that. Source 2. Ah, okay, so you can have multiple sources. So here's the resolution. Let's go up to uh, let's go up to 4K. There we go. <clears throat> so I presume that uh, gives you 4K view to start with, but um, uh, the resolution will be set according when you start filming. So 30 frames a second, that's the encoder, that's where it's going to store everything. Okay, so you can either use the built-in um, microphone on the webcam or the uh, an alternate source. Now I've got a, uh, a blue snowball so I'm going to use that as my uh, audio source. Not worried about the speakers at the moment. Fading. Okay, so these are the keys just to uh, start and stop it. And then the settings profile. So you've got multiple uh, multiple profiles. Ah, picture in picture. So you can put source 2 in, in picture 1 or picture 1 in source 2. That's quite neat. Quite like that. Okay, so that's that bit. Um, the next piece will be to have a look to see uh, how well it integrates with software. 
So in terms of uh, integration with all the software um, that we use, integration is picked up straight away. There's no issues there at all. So overall verdict of this device is excellent. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, uh, in my opinion, for a 4K webcam, but the build quality is really good. Image quality is fantastic. So overall, yeah, re really, really pleased with that. If you've got any questions, don't forget to uh, leave us a comment under the video. And if you can like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you.